All right, everybody, I am Ken Lambeau. As promised, I wanted to do a video on an easy way to purchase Kin using MetaMask and Bancor.network. Now, uh, this will probably be one of the easier ways uh, to work with and the safer ways to work with the uh, different type of decentralized exchanges and not compromise your information, your private keys, things of that nature. Uh, until they come out with the Ken wallet, this is one of the uh, better ways that I've found to work with and purchase the Kin token. So I'm going to go ahead and go over actually over two methods uh, that are pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up uh, MetaMask and I'll show you how to purchase on Bancor.network, uh, which is a little bit more expensive. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to purchase on Ether Delta. And uh, that's a little bit just uh, scary looking, but uh, it's kind of simple to get through and it's a little cheaper. Uh, there are other exchanges out there, but I like to be able to get my money in, purchase my kin, and get it out quickly uh, just to make sure that things are secure and, you know, the exchange doesn't crash. I don't get it stuck for a couple days while I'm waiting for them to fix their system. These are some of the best ways I've found not to get my kin stuck anywhere. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and go to HTTP metamask.io. That's M-E-T-A-M-A-S-K dot I-O. And for uh, this demo, we're going to go ahead and use Chrome. You can go ahead and use Firefox or Brave Browser. Uh, they're both good browsers. So you'll go ahead and click on Get Chrome Extension. Now, a little bit about MetaMask. What it is, is it creates you an Ethereum wallet, okay? If you have a wallet you already use, you have a Ledger Nano, something that uh, you prefer, you are able to transfer it over to wherever you'd like from here, but this is a very safe way to keep your private keys safe and purchase the kin that you're looking to get off the different exchanges. So I'm going to go ahead and add the extension. I'm going to go ahead and set up a wallet. We'll put some uh, funds in it. And we'll go ahead and do a purchase on both of the exchanges. So once you get in here, you'll go ahead and click on the little fox icon here. And we'll just say, okay, it's beta, right? We'll accept it. Scroll down. And we'll go ahead and hit accept. Now, you're going to go ahead and set a password. Try not to lose it. But have no fear, if you do lose it, they're going to go ahead and give you some seed keys. Now, uh, in the event that you lose it, you will be able to take these keys, uh, reinstall MetaMask on any machine uh, that you can, and put these back in there. Now, you want to copy these down somewhere safe. You can save them as a file here. I'll go ahead and do that. But you don't want to keep them on your computer because if someone hacks into your computer, someone gets access to it. If you do keep your kin or your Ethereum or your tokens in this wallet, uh, they can get full access to them. So I'll say, okay, I've copied them somewhere safe. And now I have an account here, right? So uh, you can go here and you can say, I want to see my QR code. I want to copy my address. I'll go ahead and paste it up here. And you can see that you've got your address you can give to people to uh, send funds back and forth. So a couple other things are that you can do is you can add more than one account. You can import different ones. Um, you can create as many as you want, as far as I know. You can do testing if you're uh, going to try out some of the different sites that are on some of the test networks. You have the ability to move over to them here and it integrates right into your browser but uh, I'm assuming if you're watching this video that that's something you probably won't do and you just want to make sure you can buy your kin safely and that's what I'm here to help you do all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it for a second I'm gonna go ahead and get some money into this uh, and I want to make sure my information is secure so we'll go ahead and pause and I will be right back all right so we've got it loaded up with about $75 worth of ETH. Uh, Ethereum, and we'll go ahead and head on over to Bancor.network, and that is HTTP 
forward slash forward slash B-A-N-C-O-R dot network. All right. So when we get there, you don't actually have to sign up for anything, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and scroll down on and find Kin, wherever it is hiding. It's around here somewhere. There we go. All right. And I'll say go ahead and buy, right? And it's going to say, what do I want to convert? Okay, so if you don't have any Ethereum, you can use some other type of currency, right? You'll have a list here of what you can use. So all these different currencies you can uh, you can shift and, and, and change over to kin. So I'll say I want to go ahead and buy a thousand kin, maybe ten thousand, right? And I can see, well, sorry, not ten thousand e. Jeez. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to say I'm going to use point zero one e, zero point zero one. Okay, it's going to give me three thousand. 30,413, right? I'll say buy, and it'll tell me how much the gas price is, and I'll say proceed, and a pop-up's gonna come up, right? And it's gonna tell me how much do I wanna pay in gas, right? I, I don't like to wait, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little bit more gas, not that much. All right, we'll give it about $6 in gas, okay? And we'll hit submit. Right, and it'll say, okay, your transaction is now processing. Now, you can you can click view your transaction here on Etherscan here, or you can go into your MetaMask and do it here. So, I can see the transactions going here. And it shouldn't take too long with that much gas. So, I'm going to buy me... Twelve dollars worth of kin. All right. All right, it's done. Now, what I should do is uh, go back here. I'm not going to see my kin. I've actually got to add it to the MetaMask configuration here. So I'm going to go to my tokens. I'll say add. Let me go and search for the kin contract. All right, and I'll copy the contract address. I'll go back in here. I'll add my token. It'll automatically pick up kin. You know that it's 18, uh, 18 decimals. I'll say add. Now you can see I've got my 30,000 kin. All right, so that was pretty easy. Now all I got to do is close out of Bancor.network, and I am good to go. Now, the other alternative, so there's a bunch of exchanges out there, but I'll show you Ether Delta. So if you're a little bit cheaper, you can get a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and go over here to EtherDelta.com. Uh, right, it's had its problems in the past, so uh, I like to use MetaMask as I don't have to put my private key in there. I don't have to import or export anything, and it'll pick it up as long as uh, MetaMask is unlocked. So I can see that it detects that I have 0.046E. And I'll go ahead and I see that on the top here, I see my currencies. I can go ahead and scroll down. Okay. And I'll go down and find Kin. All right. And we'll click on it. We'll wait for it to load. And I'll see that I have Kin in my wallet here. I could deposit it and sell. But I'm going to deposit 0 0.02. Now, when you deposit it here, you don't want to put all your Ethereum in there because you've got to have Ethereum outside of the either Delta system to be able to move it around and pay for the transactions, the gas prices. So I'm going to go ahead and deposit this. Again, it's going to pop up. I'm going to give it, it's a little bit cheaper. So I'll say I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you 20 bucks. 24 here. I want it to move quick. All right, I'm an impatient kind of guy. So let me see how much do I have. 25 bucks, max total 32 bucks. Sure. Go ahead and submit it. Right. It shows me that I've created the transaction. Go ahead and click on OK. And I can go ahead in here and I click on 
view account on Etherscan. And we should be able to see the transaction shortly. Might be under token transfers, but actually it'll come up under here. Ethereum's a little bit uh, slower, depending on how much gas you put to it. But like I said, the prices are generally a little bit lower. There we go. So um, got it going there. What it does is it'll deposit it to the Ethereum smart contract. And we'll wait for that to complete. Just kind of give it a minute. It'll probably take about a minute. And then let's see how much do we have left in all of that. I think I'll be able to make sure I have enough to move it all back around. So I got 31 bucks, so yeah, I'll be fine. Might just have to pay a little bit more to, to move it around. So um, we should be done here in about 10 seconds. There we go, we're a success. Now, uh, what we should do is go back to Ether Delta. You know, you can go ahead and click around here, and now I see that the money's back here. All right. So what I'll do is sometimes, you know, you can click on here and you can say, okay, I want to buy this. Um, but you're not really sure how much is 0 0.02 uh, ETH going to get you. So I just click on one and I say buy. All right. And I'll go say, let's give it that much gas. I'm going to give it here. I'll say submit and what it'll do is it should go in there with all my ethereum and buy all I can so let's see what happens here I like to watch it make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to and you can watch it there or you can watch it over here in MetaMask right you should be able to see your transaction there click on it so if you click on the uh, Transactions tab, you actually have the ability to go back in there and change your gas price to if it's taken too long. So you'll see it go through here. Again, you can click on it and you can change it, but we'll leave it alone. And just kind of kind of doing its thing. There we go. We're done. Now let's go ahead and see what it did. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, sometimes you actually got to do some math, but. Uh, I'll go ahead and refresh the page and see, see what it kind of did. All right. It, it didn't really like that. So let's see here. I'll click on this and I'll say I think I need 33,000. 165 0 0.16 70,000 okay yep. all right and a little bit of messing around here don't even feel like doing math just gonna keep bringing it down all right there you go I'll go ahead and say bye. It'll pop up. I'll say submit. All right, and I'll give it some more gas. And I'll say submit. All right, so now it's going to go through. It shouldn't take too long. Let's try it again. Sometimes it'll pop up twice, submit it again. There we go. Now you know it's gone through. So when you submit something to buy, to sell, to deposit, you should get a notification from either Delta saying you've created an Ethereum transaction to, and here's the uh, transaction hash to track it. Sometimes it doesn't give that to you uh, depending on how slow or bogged down the system is, but usually it will. And you can go ahead and click around here on trades and orders and um, see that the buy orders are in here. Well, it actually looks like it did buy it. So um, that other one's not going to go through. 
So now I've got 60,570. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Withdraw tab. Let's copy this. I'll type it in. So you could copy it and paste it. Sometimes it puts all the 18 decimals in there. All right. And I'll go ahead and say withdraw. Now, again, we'll pay for the transaction. And boom. All right. So now it's submitted. I should get my kin out of the decentralized exchange out of the smart contract with Ether Delta, and it should come right back into my wallet. So this will end up canceling out. No big deal. You don't really have anything left to buy. You know, you spent all your money here. So um, I'll go ahead and see what's going on over here with that transaction. Click on it. Okay, it's not there yet. All right, and sometimes that won't show up. So what you got to do is just click on here and, and go and say uh, view account on, on Etherscan. And uh, you'll usually see it pop up eventually there. There we go. But I'm just an impatient person, so um, I'm habitually hitting the refresh button. So that is going. There it is. It's done. Now we'll go here. We should see that it's moved out here if we click around. Um, sometimes it takes a minute to update. I don't know what the refresh rate is. I'll just hit F5, uh, refresh it, and I'll say, oh, man, I lost. I left six of them in there. That's unacceptable. All right. Now, I don't, I'm not going to pay a ton to move that out, right? I'm just going to say, you know, withdraw. Probably came from one of the sales that was finishing up. I will withdraw it. I'll hit submit. It'll get out there eventually. All right. So now I can go back in here. I can look at my tokens. I can see I have 990,983, which I think I thought I had like 303,000 last time. Kind of blind tonight. All right. So that is a quick and easy way, safe way to uh, purchase Ethereum with Bancor.network with Ether Delta, and when you're done, if you like the uh, the application that works for you, uh, it's not the easiest to use, but it works. You just go ahead. You can log out, or you can go ahead and lock it up. Um, and pretty much everyone needs your password to get in. So I'll go ahead and do so. Now everyone's locked up. You now we can get to your Ethereum. Uh, pretty much good to go uh, and if you want to move it out you can do that as well move it to your your uh, any other wallet you want uh, but this is an easier way I do recommend keeping other wallets just in case you gotta move your money quickly I have two or three uh, in case I get compromised I have uh, some hardware that I'm ordering to make sure that uh, I can store it and keep my data encrypted and secure so I'll be making a couple videos on some other uh, technologies that you may be able to use. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one on MIST next and then some of the uh, do's and don'ts of the crypto world and for some of you guys that are going to be working with CAN and, and purchasing it and you're newer to uh, buying and selling things of that nature. All right, until next time, guys, you have a great one. This is Ken Rambo, and I look forward to my next post on Twitter.